okay dear students let us see how to do this question an object of mass 2 kg rests on a rough surface a person pushes the object in a straight line with the force of 10 newton through a distance d an object of mass 2 kg The resultant force acting on the object through D is taken to be 6 Newton. Now, this is the resultant force that is acting, okay? Okay. What is the value of the sliding coefficient of friction mu between the surface and the object when and what is the acceleration A of the object? Now, as per the acceleration is concerned, so we are very con very clear about it that there is only one formula that, that is F is equal to M into A and also the resultant force is given to us. So there is no question of like what is the resultant force, how to find it. The resultant force is given as 6. So you can just apply 6 and mass is given as 2. So acceleration is definitely 3 meter per second square. There is no doubt about it. So uh, first option that we have, we have, we are clear about acceleration now. So let us now think about uh, mu, like what is mu. So mu is the friction. So what is happening here? You see 10 Newton is the force that we have actually applied. But there is a friction force that is acting here. So that the net force becomes a 6 Newton that is given in the question. It only means that this is 4 Newton. So I can only say that F net is equal to 10 minus friction. And F net is taken as 6. So F is taken to the other side. 10 minus 6 is 4 Newton. So this is how we find it. So 4 Newton is the force frictional force that is acting on the body when it is moving. Now, what is the formula for the friction? So we say that Fk, because it is moving kinetic or dynamic, whatever you want to call, it will be mu into n or mu into r, like this is a normal reaction. Some books write it as n, some book write it as r. So I have given both of them. Now, this n or r will be equal to the weight, that is the downward force, you see. The downward force is mg and the upward force is the normal reaction. And so this friction is equal to mu into n. So I can say it will be mu mg. So mu I don't know, mass is 2, g will be taken as 10. And the friction has to be taken as 4 Newton as we have calculated. And all the units are in SI. So that's why we, we can just proceed for our calculations now. So this is going to be 20, so it is 1 by 5. So it is 1 by 5, which will be 0 0.2. So our answer is 0 0.2. Yes, so my options are matching here. So the answer is A. This is how we do this question, my dear students. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I have uploaded so many questions from these question papers. All the best. Bye.